suburbs And they're all asking if you're coming to And they're all watching Master Chef And swearing at the girls on the TV And it's not their fault if he doesn't want to work And it's not their fault if she can't get a job, she's been lazy And everybody's got a fucked up way of being good citizens Churches say it isn't fair Cause nobody's listening to that And Saturday is gonna be a big night And Monday morning is gonna be rough about their wives as if they hate them and everybody sends their kids to school and gotta get the little rat bags out the house but don't go thinking and don't go getting any big ideas an economic inefficiency And everybody thinks the boys don't cry but girls do And Saturday is gonna be a big night And Monday morning Everybody's moving to the suburbs And they're all asking if you're coming to Cash, welcome to The Right Note. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. and for playing uh, Good Citizens, which is the title track of your new record. It is. And from what I understand, you weren't actually expecting to make a record so soon after your last one. Is that, Abs is that right? Absolutely not. No, I... Um, uh, everyone keeps saying it's so soon. It's, it's, it is really it's soon. It's a couple of years, I guess. It's a couple of years. It feels soon. Oh, um, yeah, look, I don't know what happened. A lot of things changed with this album for me with writing. Um, one of them was I started writing when I was uh, 
on the road, and I never do that. Mm. Um, I usually don't want to play a guitar in between shows. Mm. Um, but that, yeah, that definitely changed for me. Is that on the road overseas as well? Uh, as yeah, we were overseas. So we, when I started writing this, um, when we were in Europe in uh, July last year, and finished writing it, finished writing most of it in by January, mm. um, and then the last two tracks recorded, uh, we recorded in March, um, and I, um, those two were written between January and March. But right. the the meat of the album was written. Uh, in six months. Right. And so if you're looking out the window and you're seeing parts of Europe as opposed to what you might normally see in Australia, mm -hmm. does that affect, do you think that flows into the music at all? Uh, no, I think that probably what happened is when you're, in, when you're in Europe and you're watching events unfold in your own country, mm. it probably was more about watching what was happening at home from abroad. Um, uh, that probably had a much big influence on me for this album because it's very, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that some of the stuff that we tackle in this album are universal, but for me they were uh, close, they're more close to home mm. and so uh, any of the political aspects of it are, are, are more directly attached to Australia and, and my feelings towards, towards that. Right. Uh, than anywhere, anywhere else. But yeah, I think that it's just being away made me, gave me sort of a bit of view yeah. of, of what was happening in Australia at the time. Okay, and that song in particular, Good Citizen, so that's one of the songs that addresses the plebiscite? Is that what was the debate? Yeah, on the it's, it does. I mean, I, that song, that song came, it, it's actually the quickest to write. I basically wrote it as it is uh, with a very few minor edits. I was watching a sporting match. Um, I don't, have an aerial in my house. I do have a TV. Uh, so I was streaming some sporting match and I saw commercials for the first time in ages. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you don't look at television for ages and then you go back, you right. start seeing how absurd commercials are and how absurd what we're actually watching on TV is. And um, and then at the same time the plebiscite was going on and, um, and so that song sort of came out of that moment um, and yeah, the absurdity of, of television and life, and yeah, and and then you know the, I think the lyrics sort of speak for themselves about how I was feeling towards um, how people treat their families and how the church treats us, uh, and as how we're treated as citizens, mm. all of us. Yeah. yeah, and I think I heard an interview that you did on FBI where you were talking about when you were making the album um, that you wanted to make an album that your daughter could listen to at some point mm -hmm. and hear. Who you were prior to her actually coming along? Absolutely. What what part what parts of you are in this album that you think she might discover when she is old enough to hear it? Um, that's a good question. Um, well, I wanted first and foremost, I wanted her to understand how much I deeply loved her mother, mm. um, I, and because at the same time. I also wanted her to understand that I was there's there's a real conflict in in me about where the world's going and what the world's going to look like for her. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess in thinking about um, having a child, um, uh, you know what what the world actually is for her and what what we leave behind for the kids. And so I wanted her to understand that um, there's heaps of love, um, but there's also, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also really angry. Mm. Uh, um, and I'm also, uh, you know, I'm angry. I'm also pretty pessimistic about what the future holds for us as a society. So, uh, you know, I guess they're all pretty big concepts. Mm. Uh, and I tried to whittle them into nine songs. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, um, I guess, both sides of the coin, what are you most sort of pessimistic about? But then on the other hand, what are you also optimistic about in terms of the future? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that society as we know it can't... I, I, I'm actually really hopeful that people can't 
withstand how awful things are at the moment and I hope that there's going to be some sort of social change. Mm. I don't imagine that that's going to be a massive thing and this is a huge concept um, which I think about enough. Um, I am fearful that there is a um, the widening gap between the rich and the poor and the um, the problems that we have with the um, with the with media becoming uh, smaller and condensed and more fickle. Um, I think that the, you know we have major problems um, based around that. Uh, but I'm also really hopeful that you know that that people that human spirit is there and that that we are all humans and that we can one day all look out for each other. Mm. I don't know. Does that sound believable? <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do, do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? I mean, that's a massive thing. I don't know. I'm, I am hopeful and pessimistic that, yeah, I think, I think that some people, that I think that people having a bad time in the world at the moment are having a really, really bad time and mm. I worry that they're on, that we are not doing enough for them. Mm -hmm. um, but I am hopeful that um, that will change. Yeah, and this, that's kind of all in the album. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the um, early singles you released from it, Pack Animals, mm -hmm. um, which has got that great video clip. Mm -hmm. um, but the message behind the song about people, sort of, I guess, males, mansplaining to you after shows, mm -hmm. is, that, is that something which has happened throughout your career and, and what sort of format would it normally take? Oh, it has happened my whole career and, um, uh, and the format it usually takes is a uh, great show, can I tell you one thing? <laughs> Really loved your show. Can I tell you one thing? And um, I know that this is not just something that is, uh, I am not, this is not just me. And I've had a lot of people write to me and be like, wow, um, that happens to me mm. as well. And they've been, um, you know, uh, they're not just women and um, n no, certainly not just musicians. There's been people from all different walks of life who have said that that experience is, is not just mine. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah, it, it's just, I, I thought it was just a thing that happened to everyone. Mm. Um, but I, but we've since noticed that it doesn't happen to the guys in the band as much as it happens to the girls. Right, okay. Which is outrageous. Yeah. So, um, uh, so yeah, I, that's what that song, that song was sort of inspired by us realising that that was the case. Okay. And I understand that one of the more unusual Comments you've had is more put more waltzes in the set. <laughs> yeah, where that, did that come from? Man, that guy. <laughs> oh man, I. It, it's the worst thing is that I remember all these people who've said these dumb things to me. Um, Do you remember the nice things as well? Yeah, yeah, I totally remember the nice things, but that guy. Um, the, I mean, the truth of the matter is that day we actually we played a festival. We actually did play a song that was in three four. Mm. Um, and I don't know, I'm not musical enough to know the difference between a 3-4 song and a waltz. I just thought that was the dance you did to a 3-4 song. But, um, yeah, he was pretty insistent that his opinion was very important and um, then got somewhat offended when I wouldn't, when I was like, just leave it at good show. Yeah. Why didn't you leave it at there? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. now you've said something ridiculous <laughs> and I don't want to listen to you anymore. So, um, yeah, people have said silly things to me. Okay. Um, uh, uh, you know, and uh, I don't know, uh, maybe they just want to come and talk to me. Mm. But uh, there's better ways to do it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So given some of the themes of the album, was recording it uh, an emotional or a cathartic experience? Yeah. I mean, my favourite thing about recording with The Last Drinks is how incredible they are as musicians and how I can really just say, um, let's do this. Or anyone can have any idea, and everybody in the room is more than capable of doing that idea. Mm. Um, and so it's super fun. Mm. It's sort of like the, um, and there is no boundaries on what can be created with the last drinks. Um, and that's, you know, it, yeah, I could, I could spend many, many days in a studio with those guys, uh, guys and girls, and they, um, uh, yeah, and they never cease to amaze me. So mm. yeah, it was the recording was really fun. It was super hot in Melbourne, mm -hmm. um, and the studio we were in, you had to turn the air conditioner off 
when you did the takes because oh, right. otherwise you could hear the fan of the air conditioner. Yeah. Um, and so uh, the... So the and the air conditioner had to be on full blast in the room it was in. So right. the main recording room was like a fridge, yep. and the rest of the rooms were cooking. And <laughs> um, uh, and I spent a lot of my time in the control room recording um, my guitar from there. And so I was sweltering, and the guys in, in, like through the window had were like freezing. <laughs> so it was yeah, it was pretty, but it was a really fun week. And the last two songs which were actually Pack Animals and Kings, mm. were recorded um, uh, they, they recorded in March and Pack Animals we sort of had run through a few times but Kings, I was like, here's the skeleton and we put it together completely in the studio and yeah. that was, that's just like the best fun. Yeah, it's, that's great. Yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible and then at the end we were like, Great. I, th I think that's good. I think, I think we did a good job today. <laughs> <I agree. laughs> it was, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was really fun. Which was not um, the previous albums. We sort of knew exactly what we were doing when we went into the studio. We're well, not okay. exactly, but a lot more than what we knew this time around. Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, you know, and I also had that looming date of the um, baby going to be born. So the studio, yeah, the studio time. We were recorded it two weeks before she was born. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which wow. had added a bit of excitement. That, that's them. a firm deadline. That's not a... Oh, it is. It was. <laughs> Each night I was going home and saying, you stay in there. Don't. <laughs> You're going to cost me a lot of money if you come out tomorrow, so please stay in there. <laughs> and so on the touring front, are so you Australian and European dates being lined up for the rest of the year? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're touring around Australia in November, um, and uh, we'll be back in Europe in October. Great. Yeah. Okay, things are going well over there? Things are going great. Yeah. Um, yeah, things are really exciting at the moment. It's it's uh, there's, there's so much going on that if I, it, yeah, like I focus on one or two particular things, it's really exciting. And then, but looking at it whole, there's like so much going on. I feel like an overstimulated kid. Right. You know? So it's um, yeah, it's things are really good. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you once again for coming oh, on the no show. No problem. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah.